Someone had told me, why do I whisper? I'm whispering because it's late. People are sleeping. And um, I figured this GoPro mic picks up my voice pretty pretty well far away. So, win-win. And um, yeah. air fryer. 400 like three four minutes golden but phoenix yellow mm. and before you roast me I protected the paint but Crazy. You guys just gonna hear me breathing and shit. Most people would like, you know, shave the bay. But I opted to not do that because it's just, I like all that shit, even though I may or may not use that. Who knows? But, uh, for those that know about, I used to, the guy who owned it before me fucked up the uh, shock towers and like there's like little like dimples and stuff um, here. So he like shaved it a little bit. The look, full look of the car in the dark in the garage. Um, another thing, <coughs> oh. And just this thin side molding on the fender is on because he didn't, he ran out of paint for the rest of the part, so he's still finishing up a couple pieces. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Just the hood. Um, I did tell him to shave the, the windshield, you know, the shit that squirts the blinker fluid. So went above and beyond and took apart. Let's see if uh, yeah. Anyways, side screws, the gas. And this is the trunk. Shadow, shadow, shadow. Don't worry, we'll paint that. Or get a different one. This is still bullshit from previous people. Well, as you can see on here as well, the rear wiper arm hole thing is shaved as well. So, yeah. It's a mess right now because. Yeah, I'm um, planning on cleaning all this tonight and seeing how far I can get. Yeah, he also did the inside of the doors, which I didn't expect either, because um, whoever painted the car blue only did like the like the edges inside the inside the door. So yeah. This is, this is her. Anyways, um, this light's hella bright, Jesus. But I have the pedal set in, obviously, since the booster and the shit's in. Harness, chassis harness, whatever. Um, another thing is my painter did take apart the side mirrors to paint the insides too, which is very nice because, um, the color, or when the car had gotten painted, or when the car was painted blue, the people who painted that did like a half-ass job. Um, 
or just you know whoever had it at the time. Um, just they just fitted it to their budget because a lot of like the edges on like the the windows and stuff, the paint was peeling because they didn't take the, they didn't remove the glass. So in which I removed the glass. So um, there's no worries about any peeling or anything. Um, this is the roof. All smooth and shit. I mean, if you can remember, I can't remember if I. I'm sure if you guys go back to one of my videos, but there was like this big ass hole dent here, and he had said that it was still a little too high. I didn't like. I didn't sand it down all the way good enough. So, but like this shit is fucking insane. Yeah. Oh, I gotta show you guys the bumper. SI, SI, CTR front lip. Um, the only thing I'm missing, a lot of people got to me about it, but the OEM rubber molding that goes along this so that it doesn't um, scratch the paint. So I'm going to take this lip off tonight to take it off so I don't actually scratch any of the paint. And then whenever I do get the moldings, I'm going to apply it to this lip and then the rear lip. So yeah well um i'm still learning this shit but i cleaned off the dirt that was sitting inside here and like you i don't know if you able to see you see that little crosshair those are like crosshairs are where sorry my finger's kind of dirty because i was cleaning it but those is those are the crosshairs where you drill in to fit the rear lip. Duh, the fuck? I'm going to attempt to drill drill them out. So yeah. Uh on the floor. So yeah. This this should be interesting. Safety first, mother. I think I have the drill bits. I need for now. Uh, we'll see once I get it going, but these are the three sizes that I'm using. Uh, what is this? A 3 sixteenths to a 7 30 seconds, and then we're going to finish it off with what is this? 5 sixteenths. So. fitted um <sighs> so there's like a slight gap i think it's just probably from just use or something because these tabs are really old i cracked one already but um, yeah, the gap isn't crazy um i'm probably gonna do the the rubber molding back here too to kind of just fill that little gap because it's bolted it's on here all the bolts line up it's like tight here in the middle um, but like it's super super flush fitment which obviously you should be expecting from OEM EK9 rear lip <sighs> honestly it wasn't that much work but like trying to bolt the lip on was a lot of work because yeah uh, I'm gonna double check the bolts again make sure they line up i think one of the holes i need to drill um a little bit bigger to the side so that it the threads line up or the bolt lines up to the thread so yeah this is the finished product for the rear bumper um front bumper is naked because oh i'm gonna take this off right now because i want to get that that rubber molding so Super tight here in the middle, so I don't know if that's gonna be a problem or not. So we'll have to see when I put this shit back on. This is um next day. As you can see, I pulled. Oh, it's a little bright. There it is. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up. Yeah, don't mind any little imperfections because this car is not cut and buff yet. But 
this what it looks like. Don't worry. Gonna paint that and then that as well. This is all mocked up for right now, like this. And eventually get all these little miscellaneous like mismatch lip or not lip bolts. This is straight out the gun. Like you can you can see the reflection, which is fucking insane. Wow, so if you're on the 50-50s to make it look a little contrast to make the yellow pop. So yeah. <laughs> SI look on. I really want to call it SI CTR. <coughs> Took this lip out again because. So, the main issue that a lot of people, I don't think if you can see, it's a little hairline crack right there because I tried, um, I tried fitting it to that bumper. But I had to like really tape the corners because it's like this is fiberglass, so it's sharp. Um, doesn't fit. If if I really tried, it'd crack the edge. So um, I don't want to crack any further. So I'm gonna get another bumper and get this lip extended a little bit. I think it only need it literally only needs like another two three millimeters maybe. So it can hug the the bumper tight. So yeah, that's that's the situation with the exceed lip. Um, hopefully, hopefully once I get the lip dropped off, or if, if my painter can can do it, then um, drop it off and uh, make sure to get the right measurements that is needed to get extended, so I can send it back to Yasu because. He had told me he extended it seven millimeters already from the first production run, so or the first the first mold. So this apparently is the second mold um, in which he extended it or whatever, but it still doesn't fit how it's supposed to. So hopefully that turns out good. But man, it's kind of cool with these two together. For sale. I I want a silver fit, second gen fit, or a white one. I want silver though. Silver because it's because my old daily, which is my brother's old car, was silver. This was originally silver, but it was painted blue. I like silver. So that's that's the little update on the EK right now holy shit this shit's bright it's bright but yeah uh, I'm just gonna be slowly putting things back together I'm waiting for um, brake lines to come in and then I'm probably gonna order a, a new gas tank because the old gas tank has old gas in it and yeah um, well honestly in shock about how good the paint came out. Um, still in shock that it is now yellow. It's no longer blue. It's just, it's just crazy. So, yeah. Catch you guys later.